Georgia, a country located between Europe and Asia, is truly a hidden gem offering a wide range of experiences, even beyond the usual tourist activities. From ancient cave towns and black sand beaches to cable cars used as a public transport, here's a guide to some must-have things you need to experience while in Georgia. Number 1. Visit Vardzie Cave Town. It's arguably one of the most iconic attractions in Georgia. Vardzie is located 18 kilometers from the town called Ahalkalaki, right next to the border with Turkey. It was built in the 12th, 13th centuries during the rule of George III and his daughter Tamar to protect the southern boundaries of Georgia. Varzia is more than just random rooms carved into rocks. It's a multi-story complex with streets, tunnels and stairs leading to monasteries, temples, fortresses, baths, libraries and houses. In total, there are over 600 rooms connected by passages that stretch along the mountain for almost a kilometer reaching a depth of 50 meters and standing 8 levels tall. If there was an enemy attack, the monastery inside could turn into a fortress, providing shelter for up to 20,000 people. Definitely a place to go. Number 2. Hike up the Gergeti Trinity Church. This old Georgian church is situated below Mount Kazbek, almost 2200 meters above the town of Stepan Sminta, also known as Kazbegi, and it was built in the 14th century looking at it from down below appearing challenging to reach, but the ascent is quite easy. It only takes an hour to walk up the winding road through a thorny forest. If you prefer not to walk, you can rent a car with a driver who can take you up there in just 10 minutes. The reward for reaching the top is a breathtaking view of the valley below and the Caucasus Mountains. Strongly suggest you not to miss this opportunity once you are in Georgia. Number 3. Drink wine in Kakheti, the wine region. Georgia has a long history of making wine, it's claimed to be a whopping 8,000 years old. And today, Georgian wines are enjoyed worldwide. The key is using special local grapes, professionals call them endemic varieties, and traditional winemaking methods passed down through generations. Each region in Georgia has grown its own grapes, making wines with different flavors. Kaheti region, where most of Georgia's grapes come from, is known as the winemaking capital of the country. It's famous for red wines like Saperavi and white wines from Rkatiteli and Khihvi grapes. Because of Georgia's rich wine history, winemaking has become a culture on its own. It's not just about selling wine. It's a family tradition in Kaheti and many Georgian families make their own wine, often as good as well-known local breads. They use big clay jugs called kvevri, buried for fermentation underground, to make Georgia's famous kvevri wine. Opening and tasting the wine is a big family celebration with lots of joy. When in Georgia, make sure you're at the party, which is much easier to arrange than it sounds. Number 4. Explore the black sand beach on the Georgian Black Sea coast. For a unique seaside experience, visit Shekvetili, a village just a 40-minute drive from Batumi. The beach itself is 3 kilometers long and about 30 meters wide, featuring black magnetic sand combined with the humid subtropical air, pine grooves and seawater, it creates a natural and healing environment. Wondering why the sand is black? Well, according to Google, black sand beaches are formed by the gradual erosion of lava and volcanic materials, most of which are black or dark in color. I can say that it looks very unusual and amazing. Shekvetili Beach is a great vacation spot for families with children because the water is shallow and the shore is clean. You'll find seasonal family hotels along the coastline with comfortable rooms, green yards, parking spaces and even swimming pools. Ok, number 5 on our list of the top 10 things to do in Georgia is trying Georgian tea. That's right. Georgia might not be the first place that comes to mind when you think of the world's best teas. You probably haven't tried Georgian tea or even known that they grow tea there. But tea has been a big thing in Georgia for more than a century now. Tea came to Georgia in the early 19th century from China, with the first tea plantation set up in 1847. The climate of western Georgia appeared to be ideal for growing tea. You would want to visit such regions of Georgia as Guria and Imereti for your best tea experience in this country. Surely you can buy locally produced tea in any grocery store of any Georgian city, but my advice would be to do an in-depth travel and have a tea tasting experience from small producers or even homemade tea in some village outside of Kutaisi. Speaking of which, we are moving on to number 6 of our list, which is Experience authentic Georgian hospitality in a small village. In Georgia you can find all kinds of places to stay, but one type that is common and trustworthy is a family-run guesthouse. 
I would strongly recommend any traveler in Georgia to opt in for this option, especially in villages. These village guest houses are not expensive and make traveling not only simple and convenient, but most importantly, truly authentic. The best part is that the people who run these guest houses will make your trip better by being incredibly friendly and knowing a lot about the local area. In many ways, staying in a village guest house gives you an experience that hotels can't provide. Number 7. Visit the town called Tsaltubo. For the most of the 20th century, the place was a destination for Soviet VIPs and their families. Once famous for its waters of immortality and a top relaxation destination in the USSR, Tsaltubo now attracts a different kind of tourists. This is now a semi-abandoned town with formerly luxurious health resorts and bathhouses now standing empty and half destroyed. Tsaltubo has become Georgia's most popular so-called dark tourism spot. It's just 20 minutes away from Kutaisi and you can easily reach it by public transport for a day trip. The town is like a step back in time, making it a fascinating place for urban explorers, architecture lovers, photographers and of course Instagram bloggers. The town is full of history and has a unique atmosphere. But bear in mind that Saltubo is changing quickly. With private investors taking over more health resorts and rebuilding them, there is a limited time to see it in its current state. So definitely include Saltubo in New Georgia's must-visit places. Number 8. Visit the Sulphur Baths in Tbilisi. We couldn't miss the Georgian capital, right? And while, as in any capital city, there are plenty of things travelers may find to engage themselves with, I want to suggest something that is unique to this particular place. So, sulfur bath houses. In simple terms, visiting the Belize's sulfur bath is one of the most memorable experiences you will have there. These baths are indeed unique compared to those in other places like uh, Istanbul, for example. The history of these baths is closely tied to the history of Belize itself. The city was chosen to be located here because of the hot springs underneath, which also inspired the name Tbilisi, meaning warm place. Most of the sulfur baths are in the Abanotubani district, near the river. The neighborhood is known for its brick domes that stick out of the ground, allowing natural light into the bathrooms and letting sulfuric steam escape. The water in these baths is naturally warm around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The thermal springs providing the water are believed to have health benefits. But today people come to these baths more for the experience and atmosphere. It's essential to know that these are bathhouses, not spas, so the focus is on getting clean rather than luxury. Although some of the baths have become more tourist-friendly and spa-like, but still they are not as fancy as spas in other places. So this is still a very authentic experience that you shouldn't miss. Number 9. Visit Ushguli village. Step back in time as you explore Ushguli, a UNESCO-listed village boasting ancient tower houses. Ushguli is a high mountain community located 2200 meters above sea level. It's about 30 kilometers east of Meste and a bit hard to reach, taking 8 to 10 hours from Belisi through canyons and cliffs, but it's totally worth it. Most buildings in Ushguli are from the 9th, 10th centuries, surrounded by glaciers and snow capped peaks, creating a truly majestic landscape. Around 70 families, approximately 300 people, currently live in Ushguli. They have a school, a few shops, a cafe, and uh, five churches. The medieval rock towers, scattered throughout the entire community, define the character of Ushguli. The oldest among them dates back to the 9th century. Covered in stone plates, these towers are numerous. In the past, each family had its own tower, serving as a defense for the settlement. It's believed that the name Ushguli originates from the Georgian phrase Ushishari Guli, meaning fearless heart. This place has a unique history, as one of the few that has never been conquered. Well, one thing is certain, you will be amazed by the village. And last, but of course not least, under number 10 is taking a ride on one of the many cable cars or rope roads in the town called Chiatura. It's a unique transportation experience because the network of cable cars is playing the role of public transport in this Georgian town, moving passengers from one level of the city to another. Chiatura is located about an hour east of Kutaisi and three hours northwest of Tbilisi. Chiatura became a town in 1921 because of large-scale mining in the area. The cable car system was established here during the Stalin's era and is still in use. It got renovated recently in 2021, stretching over 6 kilometers of cable. Chiatura is also known for its beautiful landscapes. The town is at the foot of the Great Caucasus Range and you can see a stark contrast in height from the river to the limestone cliffs. An absolute must visit in Georgia. And if you are now convinced of traveling there, you probably wonder when is the best time to visit. 
check out the video on our Georgia travel ideas playlist right above that. So here you have it, our top 10 pick of places you should definitely experience when in the country of Georgia. Leave a comment below and let us know which one was your favorite and what do you think we have missed. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel ideas and inspiration. Until next time, safe and happy travels.